Hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? In this video, I'll be trying black rice for the first time. I know you've seen black rice all over YouTube. To me, black rice kind of looks like little black seeds, but if we be in all the way 100, it looks like ratchet, <laughs> okay? No, but in all seriousness, black rice knocks white rice, brown rice, red rice, red quinoa right out of the water because it contains the greatest quantity of an antioxidant known as anthocyanin present in any known food so basically it's the shit and it's found in superfoods such as blackberries and blueberries giving it that dark or deep color and that's why black rice is black or really a nice rich purple so what are the benefits of black rice well as i said it contains the greatest quantity of anthocyanin provides nutrition for the protection of the hair and scalp makes hair smooth and glossy promotes biotin and vitamin B along with other proteins necessary for hair growth and protects hair from sun and wind damage. So now let's get to making the black rice and I make it almost exactly like I do the white rice. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. I'm using a mason jar and yes, I'm using a funnel because I'm super duper messy and bougie. <laughs> so I'm using a funnel, I'll leave everything that I'm using down below. I'm starting off with rinse rice you want to make sure you wash your rice off and I'm just applying it to the mason jar I do want to keep it real and say that black rice is super duper expensive and it's for the bougie rice water users in all of us because it's three times as much as white rice yeah I know my younger self is like what the f bitch you got fucking money and I make sure to get it all in there because like I said, this junk is super expensive. So I'm using a personal bottle of purified drinking water, which is 16.8 fluid ounces. So I'm doing a 1 to 4 ratio, half a cup of rinsed rice to 2 cups of water. And you don't have to use purified water, distilled water, but y'all don't know what the hell it got in tap water. So for me and my household, we use purified water. And then I just tighten my jar, and you do want to use glass and not plastic, so there's a tip right there. Because I want to see what the true smell of black rice is, a lot of people say there's no scent. I am not using an essential oil. I do ferment my rice water for five days. I know there's some controversy around that. Do what works for you and your households. But for me and mine, we shall what? Ferment for five days. I leave it in the cabinet and I don't touch it for five days. One eternity later. So this is what my rice water is looking like after five days. And what you're gonna see is that it got super duper thick. I have never experienced this. And also it was impossible to open. I've never experienced this. With my other rice waters, it did ferment and become like beer. But this was really like wine almost. It got super duper thick and it was impossible to pop that thing open. It was full of, I guess, gases and whatnot. But I don't know, but I did not experience that with my white rice. It was really interesting. So now I'm just straightening out the rice a bit so I can apply it to my hair. What I noticed about the black rice is that it actually doubled in size. I hadn't experienced that with white rice. If you want to see a video comparison between white rice and black rice, definitely let me know down below so I can get that information to ya. And the rice and the water, excuse me, became like a serum. It was super duper thick. With the regular wi <laughs> white water, with the regular rice water, it doesn't get thick like this. Like all the nutrients really went into the water. And for those of you who are saying that black rice ain't got no smell, y'all need to stop lying to the people. It's a lie. It stinks just like white rice and maybe it's because I fermented for a longer time than most but this thing is funky so definitely you want to use an essential oil to mask the scent of it and I'm adding peppermint 
in this video again everything will be linked down below so yes black rice still smells like a monkey ass <laughs> just like white rice <laughs> And like always, I just add it to my spray bottle. You can pour this stuff over your head, but that's super messy. And bougie girls like me don't get messy. So I'm using a spray bottle, so let's get into applying it. So my hair is freshly co-washed. And I'm just taking my four braids down super quick. This is what my hair looks like. Yes, if you see my last video, you're going to be like, bitch, your hair, your hair got short. I did cut my hair. I cut off all my colored ends. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Mm. There we go. Definitely check it out. So as I said, I cut my hair, so that's why I look shorter. But don't worry, the rice water is going to bring me back. Like I said... In my other video you definitely want to make sure you get the rice water on your scalp because your hair grows from your scalp so you want to make sure you're concentrating the black rice on your scalp I also concentrated on my ends because your ends are the oldest part of your hair it's the most worn and torn it's like the whole of your hair shaft because it's been around get it um wait, that was inappropriate Mm, ignore that but yeah you're going to apply rice water all throughout your hair and then you're going to layer it with your favorite deep conditioner i'm using my boo soul Sanicals deep conditioner link down below love it can't say enough about it you don't have to follow it up with a deep conditioner but because i'm low porosity i'm trying to avoid any type of negative hardening of my hair and just to really Kill two birds with one stone. I mean, why not get the benefits of a hair growth treatment and deep condition at the same time? I don't really understand why not. Like, <laughs> like this is the only way to do it. It's the only way that makes like, sense. No, but honestly, this just works for me. And then I'm just looking around like Smokey and Friday. I don't know what, what I was looking for. Get off me. Get off me. I'm in Debo pigeon coop sweating like a slave. And yes, Friday is one of my favorite movies of all time full disclosure so yeah i just continued this process throughout my hair just applying the black rice on my scalp and you can see that i'm separating my hair to get it all over my scalp that's really important i think i did say this before but black rice when turned into rice water looks more a deep purplish red um and it defines my hair a lot more than white rice like my hair is super juicy looking once i apply the rice water and then i layer it with my boo and it just knocks it up a notch it makes my hair so soft and smooth like black rice is certainly the wave So this is what my hair looks like. Y'all can see it looks really nice, really juicy, and it looks bomb. I'm not sure if I'll continue using it because it's so expensive, but I do have quite a bit left and I will use it up. And I will be comparing it over the next few weeks and months to white rice. So again, if you wanna see that video, just let me know. So let me know what you think about my hair. Let me know if you try black rice what is your favorite rice water recipe? Let me know down below. Let's talk about it. And I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks so much for watching. Love y'all. Peace.